Really? <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Just leave it. Hi you guys. It it's me, Evie. What we have for you today, well, I don't, my son has for you. What are you making? What's it called? Not for them, for me. Well, obviously for you because you're eating, <laughs> but what, what are we what are you making? Uh sweet potato puree. There you go. Sweet potato puree. So how many sweet potatoes are in here? Uh there's four sweet potatoes. Four sweet potatoes? About a pound and a half. Pound and a half? How much milk? Uh half a cup. Half a cup of milk? Uh, two uh, tablespoons? No, one teaspoon of salt. Two one teaspoon of salt butter. and two tablespoons one of butter. Unsalted. Unsalted butter. Voila! You guys seem to like this dude, so he's back! So, What's talk that? to me, baby. What's up? So, do you know why I'm making this? No, why? No? I make it because uh, I eat it as a pre-workout meal. Oh, for the carbs? Energy? Yeah, the carbs. Uh, it's a complex carbohydrate. Uh, so, slow digestive, uh, low in sugar. Uh, one natural serving, sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah natural sugar. Yeah. So, one serving has about 150 calories-ish. And, and carbs? Uh, about 30. About 30 grams carbs. That's almost a meal and uh, a day yeah. and a half. So if you're, if you're keto, you don't want to do this. Yeah, if you're keto, you don't no. want to do this. But you can still do this for low carb. You can still do a low carb with this. You can. Kind you of, just right? Gotta, you just got to watch I mean, it's energy. Sh uh, it's sugar. Because, yeah, like, one... Like, I'm so out of this. Like, you... Like, Bend over. I know you're short, but come on. Then come on, lean down in your cabinet. I'm gonna Relax. sit. You want a chair? Let's have a conversation. Good lord, his stools are high like I'm mounting a freaking horse. <laughs> I just whacked my daughter with a chair. Leilani's trying to be real quiet because I said no talking. Yeah, she just got whacked hard with the stool. Okay, so. Okay, serving size is about. Half a cup? I, Tell me I, this. Uh, I don't remember the grams. Uh, I'll look it up later. Um, you just caption. Oh, you know, caption. Okay. The power of Description editing. Box. Oh, there you go. The power <laughs> of editing. Speaking of editing, how's your video? What video? Joey? <laughs> he has videos and he doesn't <laughs> upload. I'm so. sweating. I've been cooking for about an hour now. Yeah, I know. I walked so in here. Just, I, hot, I just got it's hot. And it's freaking hot. It isn't even so. hot outside. What's the temperature outside? It's like 70, 70 something. No, 70. Anyways. Let's go to your stove. Anyways. By the way, I walked in here. Already smells delicious. Yeah. Let's see what not you got this. going. She can't smell this. Mm. Well, not even cooking. Let's go see. So, he already has the water boiling. To put his sweet potatoes. Don't splash me. Do what I want. Do what I want. See? See what I People's kids. <laughs> Then he has, um, I judge, I enjoy these pot, your pots, you clean the pot. They're probably hot. Yeah, use no, your paper okay. okay. He has, um, stewed uh, pork chops. Stewed pork chops, still cooking. Stewed beans. He has stewed beans in better. there, and he's going to make the rice. Because his family doesn't eat the, uh, he's the only one having the puree. I'm not eating that for dinner, that's my pre-workout. I'm just preparing it for the week. Oh, this is a prep work kind of thing for him. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Is it? It's cutting my head off. So this is kind of like um, what is this? <laughs> it's not a cooking video. We're just chilling. Just learn how to make the puree. Yeah. Um, this is this is like a vlog. Not even. With like joy, you guys love it. It's them, not so. hard to make mashed potatoes. Basically, what it is, puree is fancy word for mashed. We're gonna use it in a. We're gonna puree it in the food processor. Uh huh. You have to get a creamy consistency. Yeah. But you can still do it with a masher if you don't have a yeah. food process. Normally I wouldn't put the butter. It's extra fat. But it makes it rich. It makes it delicious. I'm making sweet potato mashed potatoes. I'm not a Paula Dean fan. What? Ew. Hmm? That did not sound good. I'm not a Paula Dean fan, but she she right. Butter makes everything taste It does. Bad. It makes it richer, creamier. Mm. But Is that whole milk? Are you using whole milk or what? No. Because nobody here drinks whole milk, so usually it goes blue cap. Yeah. Yeah, that's too. I, the, that that red cap. Ooh, that's kind of too. It's so hot. <sighs> because you're cooking, bro. Do you mm. not have air conditioning up in here? I do, but when I cook, I don't turn it on. Wait. That's when you what? That's when you need to turn it on. So it won't get hot. 
That's funny. Didn't he just say something kind of duh? Leilani over there laughing at her dad. I'm sweating. Yeah. Anyways. Boo. You are. Yeah. You're yeah. sweating. So, um, I eat it for pre-workout. Um, what I like about it is you can put anything in it. You can put dried cranberries, which if you're dieting, you want to stay away from dried fruit. Oh yeah, because it's extra sweet, right? Yeah, they're highly processed with sugar. Okay. But I put dried cranberries in it because, how I said, the potatoes are a low glycemic index mm -hmm. carb, so mm -hmm. they have low sugar. The cranberries are high in sugar, so it gives you like, it boosts your so insulin you're, levels. So when you do your workout, you're doing a workout, so like, you, you got a lot of energy. So like the energy starts right away, mm -hmm. and then eventually the slow digestive carbs will start up. Mm, there you go. That's Let's a little bit hi. of bro science for you. I don't know if that's <laughs> true or not, but <laughs> something like that. Okay. Uh, uh, say hi to your fans. You you have a lot of fans. I have fans. Oh, uh, yeah, you kind of do. We'll find out when I start my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about your channel. I'm talking about my channel. People like you. Yeah, I haven't started my channel, but I have Instagram. Put the link below right there where my finger's at. Put the link right there. My Instagram. What? Do um, you know that when I... Oh God, oh God. I got out of the hood, came to a better part of Milwaukee and then hood is here. <laughs> wow. So yesterday was Leilani's birthday. She's officially 14. Mm -hmm. It's my baby. Yeah. Baby. High school, soon. Mm. Yeah, next month. So when- Next month you start? In August. Yeah. Yep. Boy, you sent her to school real quick. She's got, got two months. So how long were you in the army? Nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. He went, he was deported. <laughs> well, no, not deported. Yes, I was what? deported to <laughs> Iraq three times. Not deported. I keep coming you back. You were, oh my God, what was? <laughs> Deployed. 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 That's the one. Three times, guys. So, you know what actually, that means? This is, Once this is actually a really good time for me to tell you like a secret that you have not known. And I've been keeping it from you for a long time. <laughs> Am I gonna choke you in camera? Probably. <gasps> what? <laughs> so the third time that I went to Iraq, I volunteered to go. <gasps> Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Joe? <laughs> Asshole! Why would you do that? Uh, it's a kind of a long story and kind of a sad one, so I don't want to talk about it now. But you know. Um. Yeah. Do you know how crazy that is? What if you didn't come back? I was willing to take the risk. Really? Yeah. We're having a conversation later. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do So, I went, my last time I went to Iraq in 2010. So I had that secret for eight years. Wow. Wait, who knows the secret? Anna and maybe the kids. That's it? Yeah. Oh, not, not even punk, like, punky and cookie? Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. <gasps> I'm so freaking a tree. I'm ready to click this <laughs> off. Yeah. Well, maybe now people keep watching because maybe I'll say it at the end. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I can keep my emotions inside then maybe I'll say it, but we'll see. He's a good boy. He's emotional sometimes. Anyways, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you're going to boil them until, until they are... Fork tender? Yeah, fork tender. You don't want them too soft because then they'll kind of get like gummy. Oh, do they? Yeah, oh. potatoes do that. Gross. I've never had that problem. Okay. Chef Boyardi over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to get flicked. So, yeah. wow. Anyways, so now it's a little awkward because you're like wondering. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is rolling <clears throat> in my head. It's just, woo, you can see the gear just working. Anyways, I got up at 5 this morning and I went for a workout at 6 a.m. this morning. Yeah, I was going to go to the gym with him. Ask him what time you're going to be the gym. Six. Oh no. Mama's still in bed. Well, actually, I'm getting up and getting, brushing my teeth and getting ready to take Lisey. 
But Lizzie didn't start till 8.45 today, so we sat there and had two, we watched two episodes of The Tudors. This morning? Oh. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> you looking for breakfast? No. no, she ate breakfast. I'm hungry. Is she always hungry now? Mm -hmm. I know. Girl, but it is. Oh, yeah. I probably need to turn that off. It's been good for a while. Yup. Let's turn it off. I wonder what it is. Hmm? Hi. What? Nothing. Oh, you said, what is it? I wonder what it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So every time we sit down and we talk and spend time together, nothing. I was with you by myself for Father's Day. I, oh, the next day, I took him out for breakfast. I know, this seems like the right time to say it because people are watching. Oh, you just want to keep them intrigued. You're an ass. So, no. if, you gotta, if you guys want to know, tune into tomorrow's video. No, 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 what? no you don't just, you can't kill me on TV. Just proof. Yeah, I know. No. I know. No, I think you would appreciate the reason why I did it. I would? Yeah. Dude, I cannot appreciate you going voluntarily to Iraq. Yes. Are you kidding me? I don't see yeah. how, Joe. Because in my mind, right now, it's, what if something would have happened and you wouldn't come back? That's why I can't appreciate what you're trying to tell me. You would have probably appreciated it if I didn't come back. If I, <gasps> if I didn't come back, you would have appreciated the reason why I went. No. And I would have told you. No, I don't think you, if you do, it's probably because you overheard me say it, but I love you. I love you. Mm -mm, Joe. Oh, sad face. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't see myself like you just saying like, I appreciate if something would have happened to you. You, would, you wouldn't appreciate that something happened to me. You would. You would have understood. Why did it? Really? Yeah. Good God, I wanna know. So, I had a week left in the army. When Before I, you? Being when I volunteered. I oh was, my God, he could have gotten out so many years. What, three years before? No, not three years. How many? A year and a half. Really. I hope so. You're crazy. Yeah, but, um,. What does Anna when think I was, about that when you taught her that? Well, she knew, right? Before you volunteered her, you volunteered then told her. No, she. I told her before I did it. Mm. And she understood. Really? Yeah. When I was getting ready to leave, I was already doing my paperwork to get out. Um, they told me who the new sergeant for my soldiers was going to be. Mm -hmm. I didn't like this person at all. I thought he was. Kind Is of he a the douche. one you had a problem with in no. Germany? No. No? Oh. no, he was a douche. And I felt that if my soldiers were under his command, that all of them weren't going to come back. Really? And so I asked to go. So that you could be the one in charge and command? Yep. Did you lose any? No. You didn't lose any? Mm -hmm. And when we were over there, whenever they wanted my soldiers to do something, I would do it. You wouldn't let them do it? You did it yourself? I did that. Why did you do it? I wanted to make sure they came home. Aww. You're such a good boy. I love you. Don't do that again! <laughs> Yeah. I did tell you that. Really? Oh, Julia. That's crazy. Yeah. To this day, my soldiers still call me. They still call you your soldiers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened to the other guy? Which one? The one that you said wasn't a good guy. Like he, he's out. He's out. So he didn't care about the soldiers. He just not that he didn't care. He was lazy, and I knew that. If something, <laughs> I knew that if something would have come up or something would have happened, he would have sent them instead of leading back from the front. Mm. 
Because you were their super, you were their commander, yeah, right? Their supervisor, so their sergeant, their first line supervisor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, <coughs> that is crazy for you to go to Iraq for a year and a half extra, so you guys could come back. But I'm proud of you for that. I am. I never told you because I always thought you were gonna kill me. Oh my god. Yeah, just like when you were 17. Oh, the recruiter's coming, but I'm not gonna sign papers. I'm just gonna talk to him, see what he has to say. Yeah. Open up my eyes. He's already in a freaking uniform right after yeah. graduation. Oh yeah. my god, Joy. Yeah. I have cried so much over you. Yeah. yeah so crazy. when I told Anna, she said she understands. Um, she and asked, I, and she I asked get me, it because they all came back she home. And she asked me, What are you gonna tell your mom? That was the first thing she told me. What are you gonna tell your mom? And you didn't never tell me anything. I, I didn't even know you didn't have I a told toys. You I told you they're forcing me to go. Because you had come down to visit me the summer before. I know. And you told me if I would have known that you were gonna go back, I wouldn't have gone to visit you. Oh my god. Joy, you don't understand how bad you going to the army was for me. I suffered so much yeah. that first year, Joe, and you can ask Gabriel. I had a migraine almost every day, every day, every day. Do you remember what I would tell I would you every time I crying. called you? What did you tell me? I would tell you not to worry because I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. <laughs> He's a superhero. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Joy, but yeah. I suffered that first year. You know what, what made it, let me tell you, when you first went to Iraq, Joy, I was going crazy. I'm going to check out these potatoes yep. real quick. Go ahead. I was, going, I was going nuts, Joy, when you were going to Iraq for the first time. And the only thing that made it better for me was that you actually got vacation. And he came all the way here to Wisconsin to visit me. He surprised me because I thought he was in Iraq. And when somebody knocks on my door and I opened the door, it was him. It's like I was paralyzed. I was just staring at him and I just could not believe that he was here because he was supposed to be, you were supposed to be in Iraq. Yeah. And you then when I saw... I'm the favorite. <laughs> you hear that, Gabby? I'm the favorite. Wow. <laughs> yeah. She's a heckle, but she heard your big mouth. I know. The only thing that made it more bearable for me when I heard that you had to go to Iraq again was that you went the first time and when you came back, you came home. Mm -hmm. And I saw that you were okay. But when you went back the second time, that's when stuff started happening. Remember? What do you mean? Uh, what was going on? What do you mean, when I went back after vacation, you mean? Yeah, when you went back to Iraq. Yeah. You know, that's That was still my first deployment, though. Oh, was it? Yeah, I came back halfway through. No, boy, you were kidding me with that freaking army stuff. And I'm proud of you that you did that and now more proud because you you watched you took after your boy you watched over them but no joy it's terrible you're my and he's my only son i don't have any other boys this is it and he's only giving me one girl one girl the only girl the only girl yeah so the you only need boy appreciate that uh, mm -hmm. i need you to get into the love making machine and make me another one of these i only have one girl that's all you need one princess all kings and princes and one princess Wow. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I think I've mentioned that before in my video. My granddaughter is, um, she's not even the district champion anymore. She's the... She is district champion. No, but she gets a higher title now. No, she's district champion. She's competing for a world championship next month. Oh, okay. Then she's that's, ranked that's what number it is. four. Lonnie, number four. Are you number four, mama? Are, Are you, you ranked rank number, number four? four or number three? Yeah. She's, ranked, she's ranked number four in the world right now. In the world right now. So, my one princess can beat up the six boys <laughs> at once. <laughs> you know how she does those moves? Mm -hmm. Those jiu-jitsu moves and stuff like that? Nope. Yeah, so, yeah. She's my karate girl. You should show them their... Can we see her picture? Mm -hmm. Which one? She has one that she's on the beach and then she has that calendar one. Oh, yeah, we'll do that later. Okay. We'll, we'll take a screenshot of it or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take screenshots. That sounds good. Mira este. Wow. Boy. Yeah, I, oh, I've boy. See, now I don't keep it a secret for eight years. Sure. You know what makes me, you know what, I, what that makes me think? What else are you hiding, Joe? Mm -hmm. That's it. Like what? No. Nope. That's what I keep. 
What else are you hiding? Nothing. No? No. That's it. Okay. Everybody knows what happens in Iraq. I'm gonna wait for... Everybody knows what happens in Iraq. Well, tell me. You should know. You see the news. People get shot at. People yeah, but shoot. I remember you told me, Mommy, don't worry about it. The news exaggerates mm -hmm. what's going here, going on here. Is that true? It's because. Or are you just telling me that? Uh huh. Ish. I mean, it, Mommy, it, it, don't worry. Uh, the news embellishes. They they say well, more they than they do. It is. They do. They only show the bad. They don't show the good. But if yeah, but the I'm bad not worried about bad. the good because. Nothing's gonna happen to you when there's something good happening. I'm just worried about the bad. I know. Ooh, I'm so glad you're out of there. <laughs> Ooh. I love the army, actually. Do a lot. Really? A lot. Like the only reason, the only reason I got out was because. Because you were killing me. No, there was a new. <laughs> yes, okay. that was the reason. That was the reason. That was the reason. No, there was a. The army's changed a lot. Mm -hmm. The new soldiers coming in are very different from when I came in. Oh, you told me that. that they're not disciplined at all. They're like... Yeah, it's very, very different. There's a lot of different rules. And it's just... And for somebody that came in at the time I did or before, it's very... Very disciplined. Very stressful and irritating to, to, not, be able, clowns, to not be right? able to discipline soldiers the way that you used to be able to. Because they clown around too much, right? Yeah. And yeah. so... I could see that. So, you know, yeah, where you're very strict, left. very disciplined, you have to do things, yeah. you know, by the book. But yeah, I was like, I had already done a recruiting packet to become a recruiter in the army. I was gonna re enlist for another four years. Um, this was after I got back from Iraq the third time. Oh my god, yeah, but it's just became do you too regret much. Not, um, do you regret not going back or sometimes, or like, I miss it. I miss it. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. I wonder, like, oh, I wonder what it'd be like what, to go back. It, oh. I'm still young enough to go back. But, you know. Are you, baby? I am. You are? To, yeah. uh, to what? Well, no. You can, you see old, old people in the Yeah, area. but they, they started out young. You can't yeah. go in old. Okay. Your so, what age can you go at back? I don't know. I think it's like 38, something like that. I know you're not that age, but. Yeah. I think those potatoes are done. Okay. Let's go. Well, go ahead. Put a fork through it. If it is, I'll take my stuff over there. I'm gonna kick his ass. Stick a fork in it. It's, it's done. done. Yeah. So let's see what you're gonna do. What you gonna do? Strain it. <laughs> you don't have to take the thing. It's fine. <laughs> People know how to strain. You guys know how to strain potatoes, right? I think you're good. You're good. Wow. Joe, you're freaking not. I just busted my kneecap, man. I'm putting you on a timeout. I gotta punch you some way, Joe. I'm too old for that, Mom. Nope. Your kids are always your baby no matter the age, right? You moms know what I'm talking about. Do you eat it cold or do you actually heat it up when you make it eat it for room temperature, right? I eat it cold. Either or? Oh, do you? Yeah. It's more like um. You you can heat it up, but I is eat it cold. does it taste? Is, isn't it more like um, not a snack, but um, kind of like a it's dessert? Like no, yeah. can it be kind of like a dessert? You can like. Because like when you make a baked potato, sweet potato pie or something like that. The yeah. Thing? So like I was saying earlier, like I put. Cranberries and walnuts in it for my pre-workout. Do you need this bowl to put yeah. it in? So I put cranberries and walnuts in it, but you can't put actually you can put a little bit of sugar, some cinnamon and some nutmeg and it tastes just like sweet potato pie. Yeah. I am not a fan too much of the sweet potato pie? No, uh the nutmeg. Um right? Taste. I mean it's Isn't a, it an acquired taste. You like pumpkin Ooh, pie? Lordy. Yeah, I like pumpkin pie. There's nothing. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's good. I love pumpkin pie. Oh, <laughs> for ha for Halloween? No, no. For um, what is it? Though? What freaking holiday? For Thanksgiving? <laughs> I almost got a break. For our Thanksgiving, I usually buy two pies, one for everybody else, and then just one for him. Really? Should I get you a fog machine or something? Great right, Because So I, I, I didn't hear anything you said. But my. 
strange. Now I'm telling them that for Thanksgiving, I usually buy two pies. One for all of us. Oh yeah. And then one for him. I love telling that story because I can tear down a fucking language. language. Beat me out. <laughs> I would have to beat me out like two, three times. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll sit down and eat a whole pumpkin pie in one sitting after yeah. Thanksgiving dinner. Like immediately after Thanksgiving dinner. I know. But isn't dessert just perfect right after? Like to get the flavor of the food out and just something sweet? I need it. I, I need desserts. Mm, it's delicious. Yeah. Pumpkin pie. Anyways. See, now you're making me crave that. Pumpkin pie? Yeah. Well, we have. What, four months before it's in oh no, no, no i know no, you no, can no, no, buy no. it now but it's like say. all like if you want to make fresh straight from the patch but you can still buy the stuff and make it what are you gonna buy canned pumpkin yeah you think you know joe because if if you're gonna buy the canned pumpkin that lord knows how long it's been there and i'll think for that just make it buy it already made frozen sarah are delicious by the way <laughs> so you're talking crap about the pumpkin pie and you bought those like that wow yeah no if i make a tutorial on pumpkin pie guess who's making it you me well yeah why would i you mr pastry wow. chef i specialize in french pastry pies are beneath me <laughs> oh my <laughs> so plain God. i'm so plain <laughs> I'm playing. Dude. I love making pie. Banana cream pie, apple pie, pumpkin pie. You know, you know I, I just started eating sweet potatoes like six months ago. They're delicious. And yeah. I like the white ones. Do you like the white ones too? I never had them. Um, yes, you have when we make bianda. No, then I don't like them. They're gross. They're sweet, like, just like, like this. Bianda. I don't like bianda. I understand you don't like bianda, but the, the batatas. <laughs> yes, Ramiro. Hello? Hey, Nene, what's up? I'm in Joy's house. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Why, what did you need? No, no. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, oh. By the way, Miro is a Batman fan, so that's why he has that Batman, um, what is it? Theme song. Theme song ringer. So are you, did you get tired of scaring off my people? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Thought I had something in my eye. Really? Mm -hmm. And you don't have mirrors here? Joey, why is it so freaking hot in you? I don't know, it's actually cooling off ever since I stopped cooking. Like right. three minutes ago. Right. Let's finish this so we Anyways, can finish our video. You can use a potato masher, you can like mash it or whisk. I'm gonna use food processor because I want it very smooth. Yeah, we want it really smooth. And with the butter and the salt and milk. Okay. So let's go. This is in my way. Salt. <laughs> Butter. And there it is. Nice and smooth. Doesn't need maybe a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. You can add pepper as well. Yes, of course the seasoning is to your taste. Some people like salt here, some people like less. So yeah, that's how you make your the back end of the spoon. I did not double dip. Wow. I don't think that's gonna last for the week. That's you you kind of liked it too much. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit more salt, but. That's I like to, it like that. That's to taste. So yeah, long video. 
I gotta plate it up for you. Go ahead, baby, plate that sucker up. Whipped cream. Dessert. Yeah, I want dessert. Mmm. I'm gonna plate it up the way I would normally eat it for my pre workout. She plated the way you would plate it for work. Not for work. Ooh, wouldn't you take one of those um, things for a piping bag and sh mm -hmm. sh really pretty for work? Yeah. Ah, nice. Oh my God, Joy, this Did hair. Did you taste it, Mama? No, because you didn't give me none. You want to add more salt to that? A little bit. I think it's perfect. If anything, I'd add a little brown sugar to this. Yeah. Like I said, you can add mm. sugar, um, a little bit of cinnamon nutmeg. It's delicious. And where are your... Oh, no, okay. It's not done yet. I know, but I want this. Mmm. <laughs> That looks so freaking good. But you're not even having this now, are you? Nope. I put it in the fridge and need it later. Oh, there you go. What else am I going to put in there? That's it. Oh, that's it? Well, show your work. Show your work. Oh. Mm -hmm. That nut moved. So I put about a serving of dried cranberries and a serving... Actually, that's less than a serving of walnuts, but... Yeah. Walnuts but are expensive, it's delicious. So. Yeah, look how good that looks. Delicious. Oh yeah. You know what you need? A little mint leaf <clears> to <throat> give it that extra oomph color for presentation. It's beautiful. Yeah, so mm. I don't fit in here and I'm crooked now. Mm. Anyways. You kinda so, wanna stay away from cur dry cranberries. Uh, totally. Totally. 130 calories, 33 grams of carbs. 29 grams of those coming from sugar. Oop, take them back. <laughs> but they're delicious. They are. I want to make some oatmeal. Mm, that one was. Ooh. I want to make some oatmeal cookies with cranberries and walnuts. Delicious. Oh, I had a fourth or a half cup of milk for this and I didn't use it all. It's so good. it's safe to say you're better off with a fourth cup mm -hmm. of milk. They could do half, depending on how. Well, yeah, if you want it, you yeah, if you want it. Um, what's the word? Looser. Yeah, I think it's perfect like that, though. Mhm. Mm it's good. Yeah. It's delicious. So pre-workout meal. High carbs. A little bit of protein from the uh, nuts. Walnuts. Um. Yeah. And a little. And that's all there is to that? Yeah. Simple carbs, complex carbs. Bro science. So your um <laughs> so your um sweet potato thingy should be like a half cup serving? Uh and normally I weigh it. So whatever Oh, oh yeah, because he's precise with weighing yeah. and all that stuff. So whatever the internet says one serving of sweet potato is is what I'll do mm -hmm. here for presentation. There's probably more than a serving yeah yeah that is more than enough that's like three-fourths cup to me but yeah so you want to say bye deuces oh my <laughs> deuces <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. you are a hood kid <laughs> so guys thank you so much for hanging out with us that was the um tutorial for this and it, it a was, story it wasn't a tutorial it was it, just chilling just chilling just vlogging but we're going to put um, pictures of Leilani at the end. So thank you guys for watching. Take care and God bless. Deuce. He says deuce. <laughs>